Alright, what's going on YouTube? This is Venomous the Fat Man coming at you right now. And now I'm starting up a little segment for my channel now. I'm calling it OTGT. What does that stand for? It stands for only the goddamn truth. There's nothing but the truth about a video game that you're going to get from someone who's actually played it and is giving you an honest opinion right now. So right now I'm going to talk about Tatsunoku vs. Capcom. Now this game is pretty cool. Okay, Tatsunoku vs. Capcom was originally came out in Japan a long time ago, a good while ago. You know, and it, what is it, uh, originally when it first came out, people thought that it was going to be kind of like a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 clone. And eventually it wasn't, you know, in this case. But, you know, a lot of people thought that, you know, it's going to be pretty much how Marvel vs. Capcom 2 was. And that it might have been like a broken game as it was. Because pretty much a lot of the people that were really into Marvel vs. Capcom 2 were really the hardcore fighting game, you know, fans. You know, you didn't find a lot of the casual general audience getting into that stuff. But anyway... And it turned out that it, the game was released, it, was, it wasn't anything so much more kind of like Marvel vs. Capcom 2, and it was certainly as hell nothing like Street Fighter 4, I'll tell you that right now. If anything, Tatsunoga vs. Capcom was one of the two successors to some of the classical fighting games that most fighting game fans love from back in the day when, you know, we were all sitting and going to EVO and playing Capcom vs. SNK 2 or Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Third Strike, you know, things like that. Anyway, the game was released in Japan at first, okay, and it had its initial setup, you know, and what was cool, what set it apart from, you know, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 was that when you're fighting in the middle of the match, you know, they, you, your characters that you're choosing at the time that you switch into, his theme song will start popping up. You know, I thought that was pretty cool when I first played it, you know, I thought it was awesome. You know, how, like, pretty much you'd be in the middle of a match, things are going down, all of a sudden, oh, crap, Kadas just came in, or, or Ryu just jumped in, you know, the whole music changes, and it added to the whole experience. It was, it was awesome. Another cool thing about, you know, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom is that, like I said before, it's not as broken, and it's not as, you know, new, non-new friendly to, you know, to its players. You know, pretty much anybody could pick it up and play. You know, there's a lot of advanced stuff in there that still people are still trying to figure out now, especially, you know, a lot of the uh, good players out there, you know, especially on YouTube and, you know, out there are trying to discover new things now that the game's, you know, out in full flight. But, you know, the casual guys could pick it up, too. You know, you could have a good time. You could go into training mode or arcade mode and, you know, learn some moves, get some character endings, you know, have a blast. And I think that was great because, you know, in Marvel vs. Capcom 2, you have a lot of the characters that could do a lot of infinite combos and stuff and a lot of things that pretty much anybody who didn't know what they were doing would get their ass kicked, like, pretty badly. Really badly. Like, God forbid you're sitting across from Justin Wong and all of a sudden he just whoops your ass just using Sentinel and not the rest of his team. And pretty much you get blown to shit with just, you know, the whole Sentinel combo thing. But anyway, in this game, you can't, there isn't a lot of that. Like, I've heard some rumblings about Mega Man, you know, having some, uh, having an infinite combo or Kadas having an unblockable attack and stuff. But in my experience, I have yet to find something that, you know, that is pretty much wrong with this game other than the fact how in the American version, you know, even though we got like a bunch of new characters, we got, a, I think it was about four new characters in total. We got Frank West, Zero, Yetterman 2, and uh, Tekaman Blade. But, you know, the only problem I got with it is that pretty much like the whole soundtrack thing, which I said before, which was really awesome, they removed that due to licensing, you know, problems, you know. You know, there's nothing you could really much say. You can't really complain to them about it. You know, I would have loved to have the tracks in there, but, you know, we got a bunch of new characters, and we got a couple little tweaks, too, on some characters. I know, I know, when I first started, I started playing with Alex, and a lot of people, you know, were, you know, noticed in the newer version from the Japanese is that Alex, he can't use the stun gun headbutt, like, more than at least once, and keep them in the stun state. The Japanese, you, if you had a full five bars on your super meter, you were able to actually go in Stun gun headbutt somebody. Keep them in the stun. Do it another two times. Use up two more meters and keep them in that stun state, and then go straight into the hyper bomb from there for massive damage. It was ridiculous. But now they removed it in the English version, you know, which is always a good thing. You know, it's not too bad. It doesn't break his as a character. You know, it makes him a little bit more leveled out. You know, which is always a welcome addition. You know, if, you know, you're gonna make it more balanced. Then go ahead, go for it. Okay, don't care, don't complain or don't uh, what is it? worry about so much of the other fanboys or whatever complaining about it that, you know, oh my god, they're nerfing our character. No, they're making the playing field leveled out, which is always great. Anyway, what is it? it's a great game, you know, you've got a lot of characters, a lot of characters a lot of people don't know if you haven't seen a lot of anime and the Tasunoku uh, animations. I know you got a lot of characters, in Tasunoku you got a lot of characters from Gotcha Man, you got Ken the Eagle, you got June the Swan, 
You've got, uh, what is it, in the American version, you've got Joe the Condor. You also got some other cool ones. You know, you got Kadas from the animated movie, which I thought was awesome. You got a guy, I thought he was cool. He's like the Honda of the Tatsunoko vs. Capcom universe. Uh, Tekkaman Blade. Oh, not Tekkaman Blade, Tekkaman. The original Tekkaman. Because I thought he was pretty cool. He reminded me of E Honda when I was playing with him a couple times. So, you know, I'm an E Honda player, so that was pretty much a given. Anyway. You got some other cool characters too. You got the Patsu Man, you got Yetter Man, and there you know a lot of guys that you know not necessarily are known here in America, but in Japan it's pretty big. And then when you pick them up here and you play with them, it's pretty badass. You know they're pretty good characters. Then on the Capcom side, you got you know your standard Ryu, you know who's a given, Chung Li, you got Alex from Third Strike, you even got Batsu from Rival Schools, which I thought was awesome because I'm a Rival Schools fan and I was surprised when in uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, they didn't have a Rival Schools character in there that I had noticed. I know they had Kiyosuke in Capcom vs. SNK 2, but, you know, I, I was always a Batsu fan, and when they put him in there, and then in the Japanese, when they had his remix theme song, I was sold. I was there. You know, I, I was like a pig in shit. It was pretty cool. But, uh, anyway, the one thing I don't like, like I said, the thing with the music is pretty annoying. You know, but you can't really complain about it. One thing I do notice that is a little bit of a problem. I don't know if how any other people have, you know, experienced it. I haven't seen it for myself, but I've heard, you know, rumors and, you know, rumblings about is TVC's uh, online play. I heard it's pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad, you know. It seems to be a growing trend with Capcom lately. I know in a HD Remix, they, always, they, have, they have big problems with their online play. Same thing with Street Fighter 4, very big problems as you could probably see some in some of my videos, you know, with laggy connections, dropped inputs and stuff. From what I hear, Tasunoko suffers from the same thing, but I haven't really tried it myself, so, you know, I'm not going to say, uh, you know, a f whole lot on it, but, you know, it, I'll check it out, but Capcom, you need to get on this. You need to fix the online play. You need to do something you know, to get that online play satisfaction that we fighting game fans love, you know, and really, really so desire for. Because, you know, playing a fighting game with a lot of lag is takes the fun out of it. And then if you really want to get good at like, games like Street Fighter and stuff, or even Tasunoko vs. Capcom, even, even though it's brand new, you need to have that good play. I mean, you can't, you can't always rely on all, an offline play, you know, which I think is so much better than online play if you want to get good. But, you know, some people don't have that, you know. You need Capcom, you need to fix this. Anyway, back to Tasunoku. It's a great game. You guys should definitely pick it up. Hopefully, you know, I'm going to hook up with some of my boys from Team IAS, and I'm going to get some more videos from there. If you guys haven't checked it out, i got a whole playlist devoted to TVC uh, tournament that I went to at Play and Trade, so you guys can check it out. Uh, look at the videos, leave some comments and stuff, you know. Check out also my other videos, subscribe, and, you know, I'll be sticking around. You know, I'll keep posting up videos and, you know, just give me some feedback, you know. Tell me everything that you guys are thinking about when you see my videos. Just, t just you know, lay it on there. All right, so that's all. You should definitely check out Tosnoko vs. Capcom if you haven't. And this is Venomous, the Fat Man, signing off. Later.